Hi right, YouTube, how are we all doing? Well, I've got an uh, action-packed episode today for you. I am off to Bill Smith's to go and test ride an FJR 1300. Been looking forward to this. So I'm going to do a bit of a review as well, at the same time. One of the bikes I've been really looking forward to riding. Um, there's two bikes I'm looking at and test driving. Uh, one is the uh, FJR 1300, you've probably seen in my last video. I'm also looking at uh, the BMW R1250RT. So they're the two I'm going to be doing. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be test riding the FJR 1300. Now the model I'm looking to buy is the uh, 2019 model. Now Bill Smith couldn't get me a brand new demo in. So what they've done, they think it's a 2013 or 2014 model. However, it's the one with the six-speed box and the upside-down fork. So it's going to give me an idea of, uh, excuse the sniffing, of what the, the bike's going to feel and how it's going to react. So, it's a bit blowy today. I was planned to do a test ride a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> But good old blighty weather always surprises us. Do you know, you can go years and not have any snow. And then the day I wake up, I booked a, it was my birthday, beginning of Feb, and I booked a couple of days off. I thought, I'll go and test drive the bikes. Well, you know, I live in a cul-de-sac, and I'm not joking, it was like an ice rink. I couldn't have got the bike out if I wanted to. And there's no way they'd have let me out on the bikes anyway. So, I've got the FJR for a couple of hours. And when I go to test ride the BM, I've got that for four hours, I think it is, four or five hours. They let me have the BM for. So, I'm looking forward to that, because I'm rather keen on the BM. However, I'm also keen on the FJR. In case anyone's wondering, this is being filmed on the, what are we, the 9th of February. Now, uh, we're being battered by storms at the moment. So, although we've got clear skies today... Um, <laughs> it's a touch on the blowy side. So, oh, only one camera today, folks, I'm afraid. Um, unsure when I'm going to mount the other camera on the bike, so I decided just to bring the helmet cam. So I've only got one drift. So sadly, you've only got one view today. This is one I see. However, on the bonus, you haven't got to look at my ugly face, have you? I want to thank everybody as well for the advice that... Uh, you've all given me on the bikes. The last video, I think when I looked last night, it's had some like 850-ish, um, 850 odd views. And for a, a video I just knocked together in about half an hour, really impressed with um, what people have thought. It's had a lot of likes. So thank you very much for that, for the people who have watched it and commented. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the, the help you've given me as well in the past and, you know, supporting the channel. So if you're new to the channel, if you like the content, please click the subscribe button. Or, you know, we'll do appreciate that. At the same time, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll get notifications of new videos. So thank you very, very much for all the help and uh, support you've given me over the past couple of years building the channel. I'm nearly up to 500 subscribers, which doesn't sound a lot, but it's, to me, that's amazing. So thank you for all those who have subscribed as well. Anyway... It's a bit cool this morning. It's a bit blowy. You're not going to want to watch this bit, the, the motorway bit, so uh, I shall catch you at the other side. Anyway, catch you in a bit. There's mine there. And this is what I'm test driving. FJR 1300. Right. Oh, that feels a little bit heavy, huh? Eh? 
Let's go into touring mode, I think. Not sports mode, I don't want to kill myself. So, first impressions. Once you get moving, feels alright, actually. Uh, smooth. My brake's not very good, I must admit. It's a completely different setup to uh, the DeVille. I feel more lean forward, I think. So, yeah, it feels alright, actually. Feels comfy. Um, yeah, it feels very comfy, it feels smooth. Easy to control. The, the visibility now set the mirrors up isn't too bad, actually. The mirrors aren't as good as the DeVille, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but that's something I'll have to get used to. So it's... Uh, I'm going to take it on one stretch of the motorway. Um, see what that's like. That, that brake is not very good. Doesn't feel as good as mine. But it might just be because I'm not used to the positioning of it. I've hardly got to put any pressure on mine and it stops. Low speed, it's easy to control. Don't like that back brake. Do not like that back brake at all. It feels a little bit higher up this. I can't quite get my foot down on one side. Um, but the engine sounds absolutely amazing. And all the weight goes the minute you ride away, which is good. Gearbox feels all right, feels nice. Feels very di completely different. So let's get that screen up. There we are. Screen doesn't really do a great deal. Right. So first impressions on the motorway. It's all right, actually. Doesn't feel too bad. Although it's a bit blowy, it's not. I'm getting battered a bit more on this than what it was on the DeVille. Uh, take that screen up a little bit, see what that does. Getting battered on the shoulders, but it's a different riding position, completely different riding position. First impressions, it's actually quite a nice, comfy... Uh, it's not a massive difference to... Um, to the, the DeVille sitting position actually. The seat doesn't feel uncomfortable. When I'm doing motorway speeds now, I'm doing 70. Well, actually, 72, but I slow down to 70. Uh, doing 70 mile an hour now, so we're up on motorway speeds. Um, first impressions on the motorway, it's not too bad. First, it's got plenty of power there. Feels it wants to go. Plenty of switch array we've got down here. Uh, you've got the normal beam, the passing beam, you've got reset modes, whatever that's for. There's a cruise control actually I've just noticed. Uh, this side you've got stop start and mode. So currently I'm in touring mode. Uh, she feels quite comfy, doesn't feel uh, that straining. Don't need to have much power at all. Um, effortlessly, I'm sitting here. 70, 75, doesn't feel at all that like she's uh, straining in any way whatsoever. It's got a digital display in here, so you've got your usual rev counter, which is analogue, and then they've got like a digital display, it tells you if you're driving econo you know, economically, uh, gives you your speed, etc. On the right hand side, you've got what mode you're in, regards to the screen, or heater grips, um, what else have we got on here? 
gear, what gear you're in. So it's, uh, I mean, to be fair, at early indications I'm doing 70, 75 mile an hour, and it feels like I could sit here all day at 70. Does not feel uncomfortable at all. What a bit like after a couple of hours, I don't know. So, first impressions on the motorway, it's quite smooth. Now this is in sports mode. It feels alright. Holy <laughs> Sorry, pardon my French. Yep. God, this is quick. Sounds amazing. Feels amazing as well. This is very, very nippy bike. I think I've been used to the DeVille for so long. <laughs> the response is unbelievable. The power is just, uh, it's instant, it's all on tap. The power on tap in sports mode. I'm hardly touching the throttle and it's just shot up 10 mile an hour. You know, it's... Uh, That is, uh, yeah, it's quite nice that. I'm not even, the engine's not even breaking the sweat. Oh, that's the speed limit, 50. She's not even breaking the sweat at all. Now I can understand why, uh, I get why Ray's able to do those overtakes now. That is um, amazing. What a lovely smooth engine. She feels very, very responsive. How's she going to handle at low speed? She's all right, actually. That engine sounds lovely. That engine sounds gorgeous. Sports mode is amazing. It's very, very good at controlling at low speed. I do like that. Right, so there she is, FJR 1300. First thoughts, bloody amazing bike, absolutely amazing. The power is unbelievable. She's got fantastic, and I mean fantastic power. The output is, un is just beyond belief. Um, touring mode is beautiful, it's like nice and smooth. In touring mode, it feels very similar to the DeVille. It's just got a lot more power. Um, all right, this isn't a brand new model. This is just so I can test drive it. But it feels... She feels lovely. She handles lovely. Uh, first impressions, very, very nice. Pros and cons. Sports mode, that just wants to kill you. That's my impression. Sports mode will get you into a lot of trouble uh, it is very very responsive in sports mode do I like that it feels a bit for a touring bike it feels too quick if I'm truthfully honest with you now maybe perhaps I've not been I've not ridden a 13 under for a long time in fact I've never ridden a 13 under thinking about it 12 under has been the biggest it feels very very talky a bit like my bandit was uh, but this has got the grunt right the way through, whereas the Bandit had the grunt at lower end. Uh, so third thoughts on that, I like it. My legs are starting to hurt a little bit now. Whether that's because of the seating position, I do not know. But uh, the dashboard looks quite nice. There's plenty of storage. The seating position itself is great. Um, I'm just getting a few little pains on the... the, the, the back of my thighs so that might be the only thing I need to think about but she doesn't feel heavy she feels okay um, 
other than that, she's all right, but she's so responsive in sports mode. Um, you would have to be careful. I can see why the police used them and the blood bags used them. Uh, I don't know what it's like in fuel economy. Now, out of the modes, sports mode is great if you've got to do if you're on a road where you want to do a lot of overtakes. Uh, so, for example, like on the Pecos on the N621, <coughs> sports mode would be fantastic on there. You could keep her in second gear uh, all day long. And where's this fella going? Please don't pull out in front of me. Um, sports mode would be great for that. For everyday riding, for me, is touring mode. It just knocks that little bit. It's not as responsive, but it just gets the powers more smooth, and that's how it feels. Um, but this just wants to go. For a touring, I can't believe how much power it's got. Uh, I. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Uh, perhaps I've just ridden the Deville for so long, I've actually forgotten how a bike should ride. Now I've been thinking my Deville's been absolutely fantastic, it's been great on overtakes, it's okay. Um, you know, and it's thinking, yeah, it's keeping up with most bikes. I tell you what, it wouldn't keep up with this. I think Ray's been teasing me all these years. Um, oh my god, that power output. It hits four and a half thousand RPM and it's like a it's like a turbo's kicked in. Let's do a final review of this before then take it, go and take it into the home. Go and take it into the home. <laughs> the wife wouldn't be happy with that one. Right. Just had this in the garage, fits lovely. So if this fits in, the beam is going to fit in. Uh, so my overall re overall thoughts. Well, I actually quite like it. Handles great around town, uh, in in the touring mode. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. On the motorway feels comfortable. It, it does actually feel alright. I don't like the mirrors too much. I can't get these mirrors right. I must must have fat arms, I don't know. Um, the, se the seat itself, surprisingly, is very comfy. Overall thoughts, yeah, I like it. Anyway, so that's this, that's the review. Thanks for watching guys, I do appreciate it. Um, please, if this is the first time you've seen this video, please to, you know, click on the subscribe button, click the little bell next to it for notifications. Uh, thank you for watching, very, you know, you guys out there have been fantastic. You know, the ones who have supported the channel have been brilliant. Um, I will let you know what I decide on my next video. Because once I've ridden both of the bikes, these are the two I like the look of. This really, this is a toy for the weekend and a touring bike. This is how I feel, how the FGI is at the moment. I think it would, uh, it's the type of bike you could have a bit of fun on with the lads. But it's also a good, serious tourer. And I can see why uh, people like the police and the, the blood bikes use them. I can see that. Because it is really good it's good around town it's good on a run feels lovely on the motorway got used to the clutch now as well it was just uh, a little bit beforehand it was just it just felt a little snappy but that's just the, the, the you know the bike it's just me I think so overall I am very very impressed righty ho thanks for watching guys I shall catch you next time until then Please stay tuned for the BMW one. Uh, that'll be uh, coming up very shortly. So, uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Take care. Safe riding. See you next time.